Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? It's Bong Mike here, back with another video. So today I'm about to show you guys how to make the Stretch Playmaker on MBHK21. Now, this build is one of the best builds to have. You're gonna be having 77 uh, ball handling when the build is done. But if you guys are 99.9 .9 overall, you're gonna be having 82 ball handling and uh, mid range of three point is gonna be 88 and 85. And if you guys are 99.9 .9 overall for the mid range, that's gonna be a 93 mid range and three point is gonna be a 90. Three pointer, so you're gonna be having those 90s mid range and three pointer, and you're gonna have the 80s ball handling, so it's gonna be a pretty good build. Now, before we start the video, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe. We're so close to 600 subscribers, so make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe for more build videos, badge videos, and jump shot videos. And that being said, let's get right into the video. Now, it started off, it's gonna be a position, it's gonna be a power forward, right hand, there's your number you can choose, and go press continue. Now, for this skill breakdown, it's going to be the playmaking and the shooting pipe chart. It says that on the name, Stretch Playmaker, as you can shoot ball handles and stuff. So it's a Stretch Playmaker. Now, as you guys can see from the shooting stats, it's not really that good, but when we finished the build, I told you guys the mid range is going to be at 88, three points is going to be at 85. Also, the, uh, the ball handle is going to be at 77. That's the stats you guys need for as a Stretch Playmaker. Now, for the physical profile, it's going to be the first pie chart, the all speed pie chart. And as you can see from the stats, it's going to be a 70 speed, 67 acceleration, 58 vertical, and 50, 51 uh, strength. But as you guys can see, this, uh, the speed and the acceleration is what we're going to focus on this build. So we're going to finish around the 80 speed and 80s acceleration. Now, if you guys have gym rat, that's going to give you plus four for each attribute. Now, gym rat this year is going to be easier. If you're SS2, you don't get it. Instead of 2K20, it used to be SS3. Now for the attributes, we're gonna start with the shooting attribute. Max out everything for the shooting attribute. As a stretch playmaker, you're supposed to be able to shoot and also the, you need the badge. So right here, if you max out everything, that's gonna give you 23 shooting badge. Right here, that's gonna give you 23 shooting badge. Now for the playmaking, max out everything for the playmaking. Again, passing accuracy, ball handle, post move, max it out. It's gonna give you again, 23 playmaking badge. Now for the defense, Max out interior defense, skip perimeter, skip lateral, skip steal, max out both of the rebounding, and max out block. You're gonna be having decent stats and defensive badge. Now for the finishing, max out driving layup, max out driving dunk, put the rest to close shot, that's gonna be a 75 close shot. It's not gonna give you any badge, for, I mean, it's gonna give you one finishing badge, but it's gonna give you some stats, and that right there is the stats for the stretch playmaker. Now, body shape, you guys could choose. I'm going to put a burly. Now, for the height, put the height to the lowest. Now, right there, off the top, mid range is going to be 85. Three point is going to be 82. The ball handling is going to be plus 7, and that's going to give you 76. Pass accuracy plus 8, that's going to put it at 85. And right here for the speeds, it's going to be a 79 speed, 77 acceleration, 63 vertical. And again, acceleration of uh, speed, we're going to finish with the 80s. And the driving layup and driving dunks will give you plus two and pl plus three and plus two. Driving layup is going to be 71, and driving dunks is going to be 65. Now, moving to the weight, this is right here. When you put the weight to the lowest, that speed and acceleration is going to move it to the 80s. Now, right here, speed is going to be at 83, acceleration is going to be at 81. Interior defense is, is going to decrease minus six. It's not really going to really matter. Post move is going to decrease minus two, but you're really going to be at 75. If you guys 99.9 overall, that right there is going to, be, is going to put it to a uh, 80. 80 post move, a solid post move. Now, for the driving layup, that right there is going to give you plus two driving layup. That's going to put it to a 74 driving layup. Now, for the wingspan, put the wingspan to the lowest. And right there, as I told you guys, when we finish the build, it's going to be an 88 mid range and a 85 three pointer with 77 ball handling. And right there, you guys need to put the wingspan to the lowest. It'll give you plus three mid range and plus three three pointer and also it's going to decrease close shot and uh, driving dunk we're really not focusing on it but also the close shot is going to be a 72 it's not really going to decrease if you're a 99.9 overall that right there is going to be a 76 close shot and that's really solid now put the wingspan to the lowest and press continue so for the takeovers we have four options for the takeover the spot up take the playmaking take the shot creating take and the post takeover now from the all those four takeover the best is the spot up take for the stretch playmaker because you have 88 three-pointer i mean 88 mid-range and 85 three-pointer now i'm considering you're going to reach 99.9 .9 overall that right there is going to be a 93 mid-range and 93 pointer so the spot up takeover is the best takeover now you guys could also take the playmaking takeover because you guys have the same badge as the shooting badge 23 shooting badge and 23 playmaking badge but the spot up takeover is the best takeover now, right here, we have built the stretch playmaker. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the best badge for the stretch playmaker. And again, if you guys have any recommendation or suggestion for the badge or the attributes I'll show you guys right now, y'all can put it in the comment section below. I'm gonna check it out.
Now for the finishing, we have one finishing badge. Now the best, the best badge for finishing is the contact. So you could put contact on bronze, or if you guys are going throwing oops and trying to catch oops, if you gotta go for the reps and stuff, you guys could put Lob City finisher on bronze. Now for the shooting badge, you're gonna put Green Machine Hall of Fame, Flexible Hall of Fame, Range Hall of Fame, Hudson Hunter Hall of Fame, and Tireless, put it on gold and put volume on Hall of Fame. Now this is the first option. Now the other option could be you guys could take volume off, put Hudson Hunter on silver, and put catch and shoot on gold. Wait, I'm gonna put it on gold right here. Corner specials on gold and right here, catch and shoot, put it on gold. Now this is the second option. Now for the last option, what you guys could do, you guys could take Tireless off and take one from Catch and Shoot right here, Silver, and put Difficult Shot on Hall of Fame. That's also a good badge. Now for the Playmaking, you go put Quick First Step Hall of Fame, Space Creator Hall of Fame, Unpluckable put on Hall of Fame right here, Lob City Passer put on Hall of Fame, you guys are going for the rep and stuff, Titanos put on Hall of Fame, and Dimer put it on Gold. Again, this is now the first option. Now the other option could be, you guys could take off one off from the lob, take everything from Dimer and could put Handle for Days on Hall of Fame. Now for the last option, you guys could take Handle for Days one off from Handle for Days, put it on gold. Titan put it on gold, Space Creator put it on gold, and finally put Bailout on gold. Now right here for the defense, you can put Clams gold, Intimidator put it on gold, and Pig Dodger put it on bronze. Now this is the first option. Now the other option could be you guys could take off Intimidator right here. Take off Intimidator, put Pick Dodger on gold and Pickpocket and put it on bronze. Now for the last option, you guys could take Pick Dodger off, put Intimidator on bronze and put Pickpocket on gold. Now this is if it's a stretch playmaker. Now if you guys have any suggestion for the badge, any suggestion for the attribute, again y'all can put it in the comment section below. I'll be checking it out. So if this video helped you guys out or if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe. I'm trying to reach 600 subscribers, so make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And yeah, I'm out.